Hi everyone, today I want to make a video about homosexuality. The reason why I speak English is because I only have my English Bible with me and it's much easier for me to speak in English. Uh, the reason why I make this video because I saw a lot of arguments about gay and lesbians in my YouTube. A lot of people don't believe that people who commit homosexuality will go to hell. Um, so there's few things I want to state before I talk about this topic. And I do not want to speak anything out of my own opinion. Basically, I will just share you guys what Bible said about homosexuality. And there's a few things I want to state before I touch this topic. Our God is a very merciful God, and our God is full of love. Our God can forgive you every single sin that you ever commit. But He gave us a condition, and that is Jesus Christ. God forgave us long time ago, 2,000 years ago, when He sent His Son, Jesus, to the earth and died on the cross for our sins. But it is you that decide if you take that forgiveness or not. If you do not take that forgiveness from God, you still go to hell. God is very merciful. Our God is very merciful and forgiving. He can forgive you every single sin, but it does not mean that every single sinner who do not repent, who do not receive Jesus Christ, will still go to heaven. It does not mean that you can still avoid the lake of fire if you don't even care to say I'm sorry. It is you who decide if you want to repent or not, if you want to receive Jesus or not. And it is you to decide if you are forgiven or what God has forgiven you long time ago. But you have to make this decision. In this video, we do not accuse any gays, lesbians. We love them. As Bible said, we should love every sinner. But we hate sins. All I talk about is about this sin and not the person. I love all the persons, but this thing, I hate it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. It is a very, very famous story. If you ever read Old Testament, it is a story about homosexuality. And let's see what's happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah is two cities. Basically, there's two angels. Um, it is, if you want to go, go find in the Bible, it is in Genesis 19. There's two angels who heard about the thing in Sodom and Gomorrah, so they come to take a look. So, here's what the Bible said. In Genesis 19.1, that evening the two angels came to the entrance of the city of Sodom. Lot was sitting there, and where he saw them, he stood and met them. Basically, there's two angels come to the city, and Lot, Lot is a relative of Abraham, and he lived. He's living in the Sodom and Gomorrah. So the two angels saw Lot, and the Lot invite those two angels to their home. Okay, that is the uh, what happened and later on before they re they, they retired for the night in Genesis 19:4 said but before they retired for the night all the men of Sodom young and old came from all over the city and surround the house they shouted to the lot where are the men who came to spend the night with you bring them out to us so we can have sex with them. Okay, so basically all the guys in the city saw 
Lot bring two very beautiful guys, two angels actually, but they don't know. They saw Lot bring two beautiful men to his home, so they come to Lot's home and knock his door. He said, "Come out! Give us the two guys that you bring home. They look beautiful. Let have let us have sex with them." Okay, that is homosexuality. They want to have sex with the guys. Okay, so Lot said, so Lot stepped out to talk to them and sh shut in the door behind them. Please, my brother, he begged, do not do such a wicked thing. Look, I have two virgin daughters. Let me bring them out to you, and you can do with them as you wish. But please leave these men alone, for they are my guests and under my protection. So Lot said, no, don't. Have sex with those two angels. Instead, I gave you my two virgin daughters. You can do whatever you want, okay? And those guys say, "No, stand back." So, see what I said in Genesis nineteen nine is what those guys said. Stand back! They shouted. This fellow came to town as an outsider. And now he's acting like a, our judge. We will treat you far worse than those other men. And they launched towards Lot to break down the door. See, those guys said, "I will treat you far worse than those other guys." Okay, it is all about sexual immorality, all about homosexuality. They want to have sex with two guys in Lot's home. But later on, those angels come here and grab lots into the home, and they blind all the mess. Do you know what happened to the city? The city full of sexual immorality. They have sex with guys, with each other. Basically, this town is full of gays, and lesbians. I'm not sure about lesbians, but definitely full of gays. And what happened? Let's go to Genesis nineteen twelve. This angel, those two angels, tell Lot. He said, "Do you have any relatives? Any daughter, son-in-law, sons, daughters? Anyone else? For we are about to destroy this city completely. The outcry against this place is so great; it has reached the Lord." And he has sent us to destroy it. Okay, so the angel told them that, oh, we're gonna destroy this city because this city is full of things. And what happened? Let's go to um, okay, go to Genesis nineteen twenty-three. Lots reach. The village just as the sun was rising over the horizon, so lots run away because the angels are gonna destroy the city. And once lots get out of the city, what happened in Genesis 19:24? Then the Lord rained down fire and a burning sulfur from the sky to on Sodom and Gomorrah. He utterly destroyed them. Along with the other cities and villages of the plain, wiping out all the people and every bit of vege vegetation. That's what happened. Lord, our Lord, killed everybody in that city because of their sins. What sins? Homosexuality. Okay. That is a story happened in Old Testament. And it is a it is a warning for us. If you go to New Testament, in New Testament Jude one seven, and don't this is it means this is New Testament, okay? He said, "Do not forget Sodom and Gomorrah, and their neighboring towns, which were filled with immorality and every kind of sexual perversion." Those cities were destroyed by fire and serve as a warning of the eternal fire of God's judgment. Clear? Sodom and Gomorrah is a warning for us that homosexuality 
is run, is seen, and God will destroy everyone who practices homosexuality. However, this word is saying that Satan is trying to control the media to tell us that gay is okay, lesbian is okay, and actually gay is cool, gay is popular, it's, it's modern things. It is not modern things, okay? I heard a lot of Christians saying that, oh, we have to follow the word, we, we have to ad adapt to what is going on in this word. Like we have to be, um, know some fashions, kind of like that. But our Christians, we as a Christians, we are not supposed to follow this word. We do not need to know any fashions. We should live in old times. We should live in the acts. What they do. What God told us what is right, what is wrong, and not what people tell us what is right, what is wrong. We never know who is controlled by Satan, who is not. But let's keep, keep looking at the word of God. I just read from the first thing that I find. 1 Corinthians 6, 6, 18. He said, run from sexual thing. What is sexual thing? Sleep around, have sex before marriage, and homosexual. Okay? Run from sexual things. No other thing, no other sin is so clear affects the body as this one does for sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. Our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. We do not, we cannot defy this body because this body is for the Holy Spirit. It's not for our own sake. That's why we only have your own wife or husband. So we do not sleep around. And not just sleep with girls. Guy can sleep with guys. And that is a very very bad i don't know curse affection on your own body okay and let's keep going um this is a new test this is old, old testament leviticus 2013 if a man prides a home homosexuality having sex with another man as with a woman. Both men have committed a detestable act. They must both be put to death for their guilty of capital offense. This is in Old Testament when God instructed us, instruct us what, is, what is right, what is wrong. This is one of them. If a man practice homosexual relation with another guy, then they are they are doing very very de detestable thing, and they have to all get killed. Of course, this will not happen today. They will not be killed because they have Jesus Christ. If they ask for forgiveness, if they repent, if they run away from their sins, they will not need to die but have eternal life. Okay, that is why we are in a good contract, a better contract, because we don't have to die. We have a chance to repent if you're alive. And okay, this is the part very important in New Testament. Talk about homosexuality. It is in Roman 1 from 24 to 27. So God abandoned them. Okay, basically, before. Um, he's talking about there's a lot of persons who do not know God, who mow God, who make fun of God, and who bow down to idols, everything. And then from 24, he says, So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their heart desires. And as a result, they did not vile and degrade. They, they did. As a result, they did vile and degrading things with each other's body. They traded the truth about God for a lie. What is lie? 
Gate is okay. Gate is cool. Okay? They traded the truth about God for a lie. So they worship and serve the things God created instead of the Creator Himself, who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. That is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires. Even the woman turned against the natural way to have sex. What is natural way to have sex? Have sex with a guy. But the woman turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulged in sex with each other. Instead, they have sex with each other. Woman have sex with woman. And the man, instead of having normal sexual relations with woman, they burning, they burned with lust for each other. They burn with lust for each other. Okay? Guy want to have sex with guys. Men did shameful things with other men. And as a result of this thing, did you see? It is a thing that men have sex with men. A woman have sex with woman. It is a sin, and as a result of this sin, they suffer within themselves the penalty they deserved. Okay, clear enough. I I can't I can't imagine anything that more clear than this. Okay, guy and guy have sex. Woman and woman have sex. It is a sin, and as a result of this sin. They have to suffer the penalty. Clear? I don't need to say anything else. It's just the word of God speak itself. In Caribbean 6, 8 to 10. Let's go to 9, 6, 6 9 to 10. He said, do not. Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God. Don't fool yourself. See? Paul said, don't fool yourself. Okay, don't get fooled by whatever people tell you. Don't get fooled by what media tell you, what those fashion tell you. That is wrong. Don't fool yourself. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery, or are male prostitute, or practice homosexuality. See? Or are thieves, or greedy person, or drunkards, or abusive, or cheap person. None of this will inherit the kingdom of God. I don't know how, how, how to make it more clear. Okay? You think... Homosexual is okay, but murder is wrong. You believe that murder will go to hell, but you think homosexual is okay. And if you, if I tell you homosexual it will go to hell too, and you will say that I'm judging them, and you will say that I, um, I don't know, you you say that I, um, like cursing them or something that I saw on on the on the YouTube comments they say I'm cursing homosexual because I say that go to hell they are go to hell it's not I cursing them it's Bible said those who commit practice homosexuality will not inherit the kingdom of God what is the kingdom of God heaven you cannot inherit the kingdom of God if you practice any kind of this thing, homosexuality, lying, adultery, worshiping idols, drunkard, abusive, cheating, prostitute, every single thing. If you do anything like this, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You will go to hell if you don't repent. I don't know how how clear I, I don't even know that Bible speaks so clear about these things. It's not I'm cursing anybody. It's Bible saying this kind of thing, not me. And let's keep going. In 1 Corinthians 6, 19, Paul said, wrong from sexual things, no other things will affect your body as this one did. And in 1 Corinthians 7, 2, he said, because there's no, there's so much sexual immorality, that's why each man should have his own wife. 
and each woman should have his own, her own husband. That's why we have marriage. Guy marry a woman, a woman marry a man. That is a way to protect you from homo, from sexual immorality, not just homosexual, like sleep around, adultery, run like fornication. But that's what the right way to do. Bible said it. Each man should have his own wife, not another man. Each man should have his own wife, and each woman should have her own husband. In Ephesians five three, let there be no sexual immorality, impurity, or greed among you. Such things have no place among God's people. If you're Christians, run away from those persons, because there's no sexual immorality, impurity, or greedy among you, and these kind of things have no place among God's people. And let's keep reading in Galatians three five. So put to death the sinful, earthly things lurking within you. Have nothing to do with sexual immorality, impurity, lust, and evil desires. Do not be greedy, for a greedy person is an idolater, idolater, worshiping the things of this world. Okay, so basically, kill yourself, your own earthly desire in your heart. He said, put to death the sinful, earthly things that lurking within you, that tell you, oh, have have sex with another man. It's fun. It's interesting. It's new. Kill this kind of desires. It is a lie, and it is a temptation from devil, and do not fall into it. Let's go to Timur, Timothy one nine to eleven. He said, "For the Lord was not intended for people who do what is right. It is for people who are lawless and rebellious." Who are ungodly and sinful, who consider nothing sacred and defy what is holy, who kill the their father or mother or commit other murders. The Lord is for people who are sexual immoral or who practice homosexuality, or are slave traders, liars, promise breakers, or who do anything else that contracts the wholesome teaching that comes from the glorious good news entrusted to me by our blessed God. Okay, what do you say? This Lord, the Lord we have. Basically, if you believe Jesus Christ, you're free. You're free from the Lords, and the Lords is not intended for people who are holy, who are righteous. But the Lord is for those who commit sins, who are lawless, who don't care about the Lords, who don't care what is right, what is wrong, and that this Lord is intended for. And one one of the person is that who practice homosexuality. The Lord is for those who practice homosexuality, because that is wrong, and we need to have the Lord to tell them that it is wrong. I don't care about what other people tell you; it is not law. Even maybe the law of country, it may not right. Even some countries allow abortion, like China, but it is not right. It is killing, it is a murder, but nobody care. And we only obey the Lord of God. Let's keep going to Second Peter two seventeen to nineteen. These people are as useless as dried up springs or as mist blown away from the, by the wind. They are doomed to blackest darkness. Who? Let's keep reading. Who is? Who have to go to the darkness? They brag. About themselves with empty, foolish boasting, with an appeal to twisted sexual desires. Okay, twisted sexual desire. What is a normal sexual desires? A guy desire a woman. A woman desire a guy. That is normal sexual desires, and they have appealed to twisted sexual desires. Homosexuality. And this kind of person, they cannot avoid. The darkness. If you do not repent, if you do not receive Jesus Christ, and run away from sexual immoralities, run away from those sinful natures. Again, 
I just want to tell you I'm not accusing anybody all I said is homosexuality is wrong and it is stated clearly in Bible if you go look for look look through Bible Bible talk about homosexuality a lot sexual immorality a lot apparently it's not just for today back in the days long time ago thousand years ago people commit those homosexuality um, sexual immorality a lot it's not just for today it's for it's because our sinful nature and we were born like that we have those kind of weird we listen to those liars and we change our sexual desires and that is not not just for today if you go read Bibles Bibles they clearly about what will happen if you keep doing this kind of thing however there is a good news that's why we make this I make this video because there is good news we have Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ come to the earth die for all the things we did whatever sin you did before it doesn't matter if you receive Jesus Christ if you're washed by the blood of Jesus you're as clean as snow as white as snow you are super clean you are holy and you're righteous if you're washed by the blood of Jesus that's why we emphasize Jesus as our Savior because we cannot control our sinful nature before but if you receive the Holy Spirit which is the Spirit of the Living God he will teach you and he will bring you all the teaching from the Bible whatever you learn from God and he will tell you and he will bring the conviction to tell you what is right and what is wrong to help you to run away from what is wrong so I do not want anybody to take this video wrongly but this is not accusing I just want to fight back against Satan who used media so much teaching other people the wrong thing that's the, the only reason why I make this video because they have to be somebody who tell the truth who tell what is written in the Bible and I do not want Satan successful about this so don't take this wrongly and don't argue this if you want to argue about it go read Bible if you do not believe Bible then forget about this video forget about this video but think about it we are all sinners and God is very merciful upon you and God loves you and God is waiting for you always waiting for you to come back to him so God bless all of you May you have a blessed day and may you have a discernment of the spirit so you will know what is right, what's wrong. Have a blessed day.